Hey home bakers, how are you? In the 10 years I've been teaching people how to make bread, one thing I've learned is that what might be obvious to many may well be source of worry for others. And this, I believe, is one of those things. Roll that theme tune. Everybody has their own special, unique way of mixing up bread dough and adding the things to the bowl in a very precise manner. This thought alone can be enough to put people off making bread because everyone does things differently. And so what is the proper way and what is the way that's gonna wreck everything? Today, I thought it'd be nice to watch through a video together of what I do talking about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it to settle those worries. And at the end of this, I'm gonna tell you a story that may well make all of this completely redundant. Let's find out. Cut to the table ages ago, wherever this, whenever this was done. So first thing into my empty bowl goes the liquid part of the recipe. In this recipe, it's milk and egg. Now this one I'm making here is a Japanese milk bread. And it's a good example because there's a lot of things that go into the bowl in a very specific order. And there's a lot of talking points we can touch on along the way. But whatever your liquid part is, whether it's water, whether it's water and milk, whether it's Beer. I start off with it in a bowl like this. The next thing I'm going to add is yeast. This is dry yeast, fast action yeast, which yes, you can put into the flour, but I always put my yeast into the water. Reason being, if it was the granule yeast, the kind of balls, you really must dissolve that into the liquid before you continue. And if it's fresh yeast, I'd put it into the liquid as well and soften it up. If it was sourdough, i.e. natural yeast, I'd put it into the water as well. And so therefore, it just makes writing recipes easier if whatever yeast you're using, you just pop it into the water. I'm gonna give it a whisk to make sure everything is softened if it is that type of yeast that needs to and everything has become yeasty liquid is what I'm after. And this thing in my hand is called a tang zong. It's a mixture of flour and water that has been cooked in this kind of gelatinous subject, brings softness to our Japanese milk bread. It's a nice talker point here that anything additional you add in, whether it is a pre-ferment of some description, a bigger or a poolish or whatever you want to call it, or even an old piece of dough you've kept in the fridge from last time, I would add it in here with the liquid at the same time as I'll pop in this tangs on. You can break it up a little bit if you want to, but if you're needing, you really don't have to. And in this bowl is all my dry ingredients. In here, I've got flour, salt, and the sugar in this recipe as well. I've weighed it all out in advance purely because I'm making a video and I'm adding it all in here. If I'm at home, you'll often see me with the liquid in the bowl, yeasty liquid, and I'll weigh everything on top one by one, which is a little bit risky, but hey, you know me, I like a bit of danger. There's one more thing to come here, which is in that bowl there, which is the fat portion of the recipe, it's butter. And what I've taken to doing recently is mixing up all the flour in the liquid to make sure it's fully hydrated before I add the butter. Technically, that's where you should put the butter. You wanna add the fat once the flour is fully hydrated. What you don't wanna do theoretically is coat the flour in the fat, therefore stalling the absorption of the water. But you'd have seen me in the past, if it's just a little bit of oil or butter or something, I'd have just put it in with the flour, mixed everything up together and got away with it. Here, we've got a little bit more than normal, so it makes more sense to hydrate the flour before adding the fat. So I'm mixing up the dough with my dough scraper, cutting in that moisture to make sure there's no dry flour left in the bowl. And then, even in this raggedy state, I will add the butter cubes to the top of the dough. The butter is soft, this room temperature, which means it won't affect the temperature of the dough because that's room temperature anyway. And I can kind of cut it in with my dough scraper throughout the dough or even push it in with my fingertips. Mix it all together just to incorporate it enough to be able to take it out on the table and begin kneading. Now there is an exception here, which is brioche. Brioche has an incredible amount of butter in it. And so the best thing to do is to add all the liquid, knead the dough, developing the strength, developing that gluten, and then add the butter in stages working it through so you don't get in a big massive buttery mess. And we've done a video on that ages ago in the old studio. So that's the way I have taken to do things. And here's a story that will probably just make all of this completely pointless. Remember I was working at a bakery years ago, every Friday. Well there, the baker used fresh yeast for everything. And here's what he would do. He would get the big massive bowl from the gigantic mixer, tip in a couple of sacks of flour, slosh in a couple of massive buckets of water, scoop up some salt and get that in there too, dump in a whole brick of fresh yeast, flour everywhere, turn it on and go and make a cup of coffee. You see the point that I'm making here? If he can do it like that and his bread was really lovely, then it shouldn't really be a source of worry for us. 
I think the most important thing here is that if you're using dry yeast granules, that really must be dissolved. I remember way back, 12, 15 years ago, when I made bread with dry yeast granules and I just mixed everything up together and the bread didn't rise. And these little crunchy yeast granules in there, not very tasty. That's how I mix stuff up. There's probably people out in the world who'd completely criticize that and say that's the silliest thing to do ever. Why do you do it like that? But you know what? I don't care. I hope that helps you if it's something that you're worried about. Let us all make bread uh, with peace in our minds and our hearts, knowing that the simple act of just doing brings so much value to our lives. It's incredible. Enjoy it. See ya. Mm -hmm.